Hey guys, welcome to part 11 of the survival series tutorials. Now I apologise for this taking a long while to get out. Um, I've been a little bit ill for the past week or so. So it's going to be, a, it's been a little bit delayed. So I apologise about that. But hopefully again we'll get back on track. And I'll start maybe making some videos on C Sharp and things like that for the future. Now today we're going to be focusing on cooking items or moving items that would normally be in the inventory to another slot or something like that so say we have fish and we want to make it cooked fish we're gonna to need to take it to a fire and then do something on the fire now this is gonna be a very basic way of doing it but it's just gonna add um, another layer of complexity to the game and each of these elements sometimes not always need a tutorial by itself but to help everybody understand that you can add elements or layers to your script like a cake say um, you can do this very simply by just adding a few simple lines which you follow my instructions you'll learn to do it for a lot of different things now okay in our uh, one of our other tutorials we looked at crafting so we can build a campfire now for the sake of this tutorial to speed it up I've got a cube here now this cube is called campfire and I'm gonna actually have a tag that I'm gonna make and I'm gonna call this campfire and then click back on my object and go to the tag and make sure it's named as campfire we'll make sure that the box collider is on our object because we want to be able to detect a collision with this so when we do our ray cast now seeing as though we've got the campfire and this is going to act as the way that we're going to cook our item what we're going to need to do is we're going to go on the main camera and we're going to open up raycast collect so open that up in mono develop and in here we control all the things that we do with the raycast so we pick up wood we deal with coconuts um, we look at picking up fish and we look at dealing with the, the berry bush now for this one we're going to look at taking something from the infantry so the fish that we may have collected and cooking that up so we can use it elsewhere so what we're going to do is you can see that below the if, if step here for the bush full what we're going to do is below this second one we're actually just going to put a couple of line breaks in and then we're going to say like we did up here hit dot collider dot game object dot tag is equal to now what we just made which was campfire then we're going to add two curly brackets below there then we're going to say um gui fish is equal to true and this is going to be a gui we're going to make in a moment then we're going to say that if input dot get key down open brackets in quotes e or whatever you want to use close that up then we can say and and player dot get component open brackets inventory close that up dot fish is greater than or equal to one close that up and then what we'll do is we'll add two curly brackets below there so I'll explain this so far so if we hit a collider with the game we are with the tag called campfire it's going to show a GUI and it's going to show GUI fish so that's going to be something that pops up in the screen for when we've highlighted something that is campfire and only when it's a campfire tag will we ever show that now in the if statement here so if for one we've got this and it says yeah we've hit the campfire then if we press E and we're finding the component which is on our player now up here we've got a player game object that we've already added and what I'm going to do is add the variable private variable uh, GUI fish as type boolean equal to false for now so we've got all that together up there now if we go back down you'll notice that we're looking at the infantry dot fish is the variable which controls the fish you can check that in the infantry script and we're checking to see if it's uh, if it's greater than or equal to one because if not we won't be able to do what we want to do i.e. cook the food because we don't want to be able to cook anything if we don't have anything in the infantry so what we can do from here if we've got enough and we press e we can say player dot get component open brackets inventory close that up 
and we can say dot cooked fish plus plus with a semicolon. So that means that we'll add one to the cooked fish variable. Then we can do like we did here or the bit above get component inventory close that up put a full stop then we can say fish minus minus and that just takes one away from fish and then the inventory script will control so it never be able either or can never go above or below a certain amount of which you've set then what we'll do is I'll save that I'll take GUI fish here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in the else and then I'm going to set that to false so that means that if we're not looking at campfire we're not going to want to show this GUI specifically now what we can also do is in here in our GUI statement we can copy that whole if statement and take that back a little bit and we'll call this one GUI fish is equal to true we'll leave everything the same as what we did and then instead of having pick up we can say cook fish this is can be changed but this is just to show you um, you know the sort of simplicity of how you could possibly go about creating it all now in your else statement what we could have is we're going to need to put two curly brackets below and we can say or show a GUI to indicate that um, we don't have enough fish so if we press E and we've got enough fish we'll do this if we haven't if we do anything else we want to show that we've not got enough fish so we can say debug.log not enough fish this is just going to output in the log but you can just add another GUI if you need to so you could have one called uh, fish empty and you could have another if fish empty equals true here and have it whatever you like but for the sake of this I'll just show you it working so if I go to my first person controller we look at the infantry we've got three fish and if I press play we'll maximize on play this time if I press I you'll notice that there's fish in the infantry and I go towards my campfire we can cook the fish if I can leave the infantry open at the same time we can press E and you can see that the normal fish move to the cooked fish and we can press it and it will change and when we look away we'll take that GUI away so realistically all it was was a simple way to detect the um, game object with the tag of campfire we can show a GUI if we want to you can know you can go more advanced if you need to and then if we press E and we have enough fish we'll convert the two and if not we want to do something else to it but all in all very simple way and you can do that with any of the items that we've got within our game you could convert the water to boiled um, say if this was water and then boiled water we could boil it on the campfire and do any amount of things um, it's just really dependent on what you're going to do for your game so I'm just showing you that, that is a way that you can look at an object and convert two items really without doing too much to your code so all in all really simple way to do it thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers